Imagine this. There's been an alarming increase in the number of sexual assaults being reported aboard airplanes, if you can believe it, raising concerns that lots of other assault victims are simply suffering in silence. The FBI just launched a nationwide campaign to spotlight this serious federal crime. So please welcome from the FBI's Seattle office, Special Agent Bruce Reynolds. It's great to have you here. Good morning. Thank I you. I am so surprised about this because I wouldn't think anybody would do such a thing in a small space where you obviously can't get away. Um, what what are we talking about here? What kinds of things are happening? Well, typically, when we talk about sexual assault, it's unwanted touching. And that can happen on an airplane just like it could happen anywhere else. So the FBI launched an awareness campaign in April, mm -hmm. which, as you may know, April is Sexual Assault Awareness right. Month. Yeah. So this coincided with that. It As part of this strategy, it was also to get out to people that this is a federal crime. Because you're on be, an airplane. Absolutely. So people think about terrorism concerns and weapons, but in this case, we're talking about sexual assault. So what the FBI did was to let people know it's a federal crime, mm -hmm. it's investigated by the FBI, and as part of this, we had a three-prong approach. Let offenders know you're on notice. You can be prosecuted for this. Try to get awareness out so people don't become victims in the first place. Mm -hmm. And finally, if you are a victim, report it to the FBI and will guide you through the process. So let's say somebody has done something to you on an airplane. What are you supposed to do? You tell the flight attendants, I presume. Yes, one thing you can do, uh, sometimes there may be an innocent bump, but I think most people know when it crosses that line. Yeah. So the first thing you can do like you would do anywhere else is say, please don't touch me. Set up the personal boundaries. Make sure that people know that. In an enclosed space, people feel isolated sometimes. But if you say that out loud, you're going to get a lot of people looking at you. Mm -hmm. And it's going to make the offender think twice. If it escalates or if you're concerned it's going to escalate, alert the flight crew. They can sometimes reseat you. And yeah, I mean, how weird is that, right? Then somebody else has to come sit by this person. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so if you want to report something to the FBI, if something that you feel is really serious has happened, um, what's the process? Do we just call your office and say this happened on such and such flight or should we report it at the airport? What's the proper procedure? That's a great question. A lot of people don't really know what to do. So if it happens in flight, alert the flight crew. They have the authority on the plane and they're, just, they're trained to handle in-flight disturbances. They also will alert the ground, which typically alerts local law enforcement and or the FBI. So once you make that notification, as soon as you land, be ready to talk to law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you can describe what happened. Usually the police will try to determine what happened. If you're uncomfortable or after the fact you go, I should have reported that, call your closest FBI office. The sooner you report, the better. As with most crimes, that allows us to interview witnesses, collect evidence. Right but we encourage anyone to come forward at any point. And we know that you'll be able to find whoever this is. We know who's on the plane and where they're seated, correct? Well, you bring up a great point. One of the problems we have on some carriers is they don't have assigned seats. Ah, so that's, that's a true. problem. Okay. And sometimes people switch seats in flight. So that's why it's important to alert flight crew because then they can at least try to match up that person. And having law enforcement at the gate when you arrive then we can at least identify right. those people. Straight away, that makes Absolutely. good sense. Kids sometimes fly alone, and generally flight attendants, you know, take a, a very good care of them, but they're alone. Are they victimized in this way? They can be, and that's a, a cause of concern for a lot of parents. But what we recommend typically is to look for getting them into an aisle seat, if at all possible. Why an aisle seat? Well, it gives the flight attendants uh, a better line of sight mm -hmm. so they can see the child. It also gives the child, just like an adult, a chance to stand up, get in the aisle, and get away from the person. If you're in a middle or, an aisle or a window seat, a lot of times they freeze. You're stuck. That's and true, you don't have that mobility, and we need to encourage them, I, I would guess, if something happens that makes you uncomfortable, tell the flight attendant. Absolutely, and just like you would in any other situation, just be, be aware of what's around you. You don't have to be paranoid, but understand if this happens, you need to let somebody know. Or just scream bloody murder. That's what <laughs> I think we should do in the middle of the airplane so that everybody turns around and looks and this stops. Um, there are some cases that you guys are investigating in Washington State right now, correct? That is correct. Can you tell me a little about those? I can't get into the details on ongoing investigations, um, but we've seen an uptick in the number that we've had recently.
That's something. And part of it could be that the public discourse now, uh, there's a big focus on sexual assaults in general. And you go through security at an airport, and a lot of people think that they're safe. But the screening is not for criminals at large. It's for threats to the airplane. So a lot of times when people end up getting onto a plane, it's an ordeal just to get there. And maybe you want to sit down and have a drink and relax, but it, it can be a real problem if you're not aware of your surroundings. You still need to be aware. And I, hopefully people will report it, even if it's minor, because you may be saving the next person a more serious um, offense. Thank you very That's much. That's correct. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We have linked more about the FBI's Be Air Aware campaign on New Day's homepage, including how to contact them to report an assault. So be careful out there, and we'll be right back.